Hey, thank you so much for joining me on today's Bible Bites. What do you think of when you think of the word bankrupt? It's not really a good term, right? It makes you feel pretty disgusted inside. Did you know that 70% of lottery winners go bankrupt within the first few years? It's pretty crazy a <laughs> stat. But did you also know that bankrupt is a very important term and a very and a key attribute of living the Christian life? If you want to know more, please keep watching. Hey, thank you again for joining me today. So I want to talk over the next few weeks about a very important passage that's really easy to miss what it says because uh, a lot of people just read over it way too fast. So I want to go in depth on each point that the passage is trying to make. So it's the Beatitudes in Matthew 5, and it starts in Matthew 5, 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, the order of the Beatitudes is very, very important, and I'll explain that in a minute. But what Matthew is trying to get here when he's writing about Jesus is how Jesus is relating to the old covenant. Here he is, he's bringing in the new covenant. And later on in Matthew 5, 20, he says, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. And here he just said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So what does that mean? We look at that and we're like, oh, it's easy to be more righteous than the Pharisees. They were pretty bad people. But back then, his hearers would have been astonished by him saying that. And that's because the Pharisees were highly respected. They knew the law really well. They did their best to follow the law. They were very pious. They were constantly praying. They would fast two times a week. They knew the Bible. They knew scripture. They would look like a really, really amazing individual if you, on the outward, on outward appearances. So it was very shocking for them. So Jesus told the people in the Beatitudes how you can live this righteous life. And this is what I want to share with you today about Matthew 5, 3 and why this order is so important. So what does it mean, blessed are the poor in spirit? What does that term poor in spirit mean? Now Jesus is using an everyday circumstance to explain a spiritual truth. What does it mean to be poor? Well, back then, this is actually a term that you would see for a beggar, okay? This isn't just your average poor person, but envision a beggar. Now, if you're in a third world country or in first century Israel, being a beggar was pretty bad. I mean, it, it was probably the worst thing that could ever happen to you. You were completely 100% dependent on the mercy of others just to be able to stay alive. And this is what Jesus is saying. This is how he wants us to approach him, is being poor in spirit. This is the spiritual truth that we need to get out of this, is we need to understand that we are spiritually bankrupt and that we have to come to him and be completely 100% dependent upon him for our daily life for our salvation. Now it says, Jesus says in John 3, 17, a lot of times we skip over that because we just do John 3, 16, but he says in John 3, 17, I've not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. And those that don't believe me are already condemned. See, that's the point is every single human being that has ever lived, will ever lived and is alive today are in the same boat. We all stand before God condemned. And it is not until we understand that we are beggars and that we need his mercy and come to him to <laughs> lift us out of our spiritual bankruptcy will we receive the kingdom of heaven. In Isaiah 57, 15, God says, I live in a high and holy place, but also with the contrite and lowly in spirit. And that's the whole point of Matthew 5 3 is that God wants us to understand how much we need him and this is the first step in the Christian life is to understand that we are spiritual beggars that are in desperate need of our Savior. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Great Commission Alliance Media 
on our YouTube channel. And thank you so much for listening.